You done, Skip? Okay. Yeah, Brooke. Nice. Watch him. Come in and just... Good. He was the gregarious type of kid that got everybody going. They all looked to Jesse to, like, rally them. This is what kid that he was. I'll never forget the doctor saying, I just want you to know Jesse's stable. And I looked at him and kind of laughed. I'm like, well, why wouldn't he be? He's 20. So what was Jesse like as a teenager? Hmm. Very outgoing, very gregarious, very much into sports. They all looked to Jesse to like rally them, to get him going, you know, the kid that he was. Penn State is how we met. We both graduated from Penn State. So I danced in Thon in 1986. From then, just continued to support Thon. Once we had the boys and their high school, did many Thons. Of course, they were active with that all four years they were at high school. And then, of course, he went to Penn State. He's on the club volleyball team at Penn State, and he was the chair for club volleyball, which would have enabled him to be a dancer his senior year. And that was just several weeks before everything happened to him. Jesse um, just ha was having some intermittent swallowing issues. You know, it, it been something had been going on probably since high school. March of 2021 is when I brought Jesse back from Penn State to a local gastroenterologist here in the Harrisburg area where they put him under anesthesia. And when he was under anesthesia, he went into cardiac arrest. And from there is when they put him in the CAT scanner and they found a 20 centimeter mass in his chest. As the ERF doctor's basically starting to tell me that he has this large mass on his chest, I hear the helicopter landing. And at the same time, she says, and you need to have your older son fly home. We knew that he had a, a very large cancer in his chest, but we weren't even sure he was even gonna make it to continue the treatment of the cancer. Basically, the world changed for us that day. I looked up at one time and there were 14 different IVs, you know, so. When he finally got off all the life support and we were, you know, rounding the corner to be like, okay, we're not totally out of the woods, but we're, we're off life support. He's breathing on his own, he's waking up and they were able to start some basic therapy with them. They would come in, you know, Three, three times a week, like when he was there, like as an inpatient, they'd come in at least three times a week for PT, for OT, for speech. You know, again, we was trying to get him, you know, relearn how to, to eat. I mean, just, you know, the basic swallowing, you know, having the diet go from a tube feed to, you know, the, the thickened liquids, you know, all the way up the food chain till he felt like he could get on real food again. But again, learning how to hold utensils, and I mean, they had to reteach him all that. You know, the muscle memory's there, but it was just having to relearn how to do all of it. That was scary in itself, I think, once we got home. For like, it's kind of like bringing home an infant, like, now what? Like, now what? You know? So we had some amazing people go to bat for him and actually talk with the CEO of Select to really basically petition to get Select to accept him in between these uh, chemo cycles. Had we not done that, I don't think we'd be near as far as where we are today. You ready? Fun times, Jess, huh? I'm the center manager and occupational therapist here. I like the challenge of all the different patients and the neurological population that they are different. One patient might be affected with their vision, one person might have weakness. For Jesse, it's increasing the eye movements, so looking back quickly between the targets. Better look up at it, Jesse. There you go. Getting up. Push. There you go. With Jesse, one thing is you have to keep it active. Okay. Can you pick them up, Jess? It was a lot of goals that they had. The family was very involved. You done, Skip? <laughs> did you do well? He did really well. <laughs> it's up to us to give him every opportunity to get back to where he was. Whether that's 
things that are medically approved or things that, you know, like equine therapy or the different cognitive therapies and select physical therapies and occupational therapies. Our goal really, I mean, doing all of this is to help just totally rewire his brain and we just want him to be able to be a healthy 22 year old guy that can be independent and, you know, get back to some sense of normal living again. Here is Oz. Awesome.